Hello Internet, it's horror block time again, that time of month that makes me feel like Brad Pitt at the end of seven. Let's just stick straight in. What's in the box? What's in the box? T-shirt for last. Oh, I knew there was going to be something to do with Bitten, the TV series in this, which is a show that I don't watch, but uh, was really keen to get something sort of werewolf related. Which I guess is this. It might not be, there might be something else bitten here. This is a craze that sort of passed me by, but it's a, it's a slap watch, which I guess you... Oh well, okay. I actually really like that. Watches are kind of retro now with mobile phones. This is a zombie containment unit. Whatever one of those is. It appears to be full of slight. Oh! <laughs> okay. It's full of goo, it's full of slime. It's like a toxic waste barrel that has actually got a zombie in it. Now, I can't attest to this right now, but that looks like it may actually all be glow-in-the-dark as well. So, I better... I better get him contained, recontained. Plushy thing. What's this? Giant microbes. It's the zombie virus. Giant microbes. <laughs> That's what the zombie virus looks like under a microscope. Another issue of Rue Morgue, which I have to admit has been, uh, has always had, this is my third horror block, but has always had at least one really, really interesting article in it. So I'm really pleased that Rue Morgue's in there again. Oh, I can see straight away there's an article about John Carpenter talking about his new album, um, Lovecraft Games. This is a really good read, always has been. Oh, well, here's the bitten thing. Uh, Kelly Armstrong, I don't think the novel was called Bitten before the TV series, but there's the book. I'm assuming that's the first book. That's why the box was so heavy. Okay. And finally the t-shirt. Always the t-shirt last. Oh man, alive! Together Forever, Bride of Frankenstein. That's a really nice t-shirt. I'm really pleased with that. 